right, so I have talked to you all a little bit about politics, and I know I don't want to talk about it, but I promised everybody the news about Vicky, but before I get into Vicky, um, I'm very annoyed with what Bill Maher said. He says that in order for President Trump to lose in 2020, we have to have another recession. Folks, 2008 was already a bad example of what the economy could look like. If we have a worse recession than 2008, yes, I understand that rich elitists like Bill Maher can say, oh, well, I won a recession. It doesn't affect me. Well, it affects a whole lot of people. All right? We're seeing jobless numbers we have not seen since the 1960s. You have to go back to the 1960s to see unemployment this slow. So I'm very annoyed with him. And I'm also annoyed at low-life Robert De Niro. He said on national TV, bleep you to Trump. How in the world are you able to get away with that? Again, this is why, and I'm going to say this, another reason why I'm helping Vicky, everyone. Another reason why. I'm going to try to get some brightness. Um, we'll have to go in the parking lot if we have to. Yeah, this is better lighting. Let's just make sure we can get some lighting in front of McDonald's or maybe somewhere over here. Yeah, this is better. This is better lighting. So, I spoke to Vicky at 8.30 this morning. Here's the update. Yes, I am coming tomorrow. The schedule is I'm going to be back in this area tomorrow. I'm also going to be doing Murray Hill tomorrow. Vinny, if you missed anything, please remind back on the replay. I appreciate it because, again, I have to go as quick as I can because I'm on lunch break. So tomorrow I'm going to be helping Vicky in Murray Hill and in Auburndale. But first I have to go to her campaign office in Whitestone to report, at least in the meantime. I'm sorry if people need a parking spot, but I have I need lighting for my live stream. It's the only lighting I can get. It's the only lighting I can get. I need lighting for my live stream. Yeah, find another spot. Sorry. Yeah, so point is... The point is, I'm trying to help Vicky get as much signatures as I can. So, I urge you all, if you really care about Queens, and if you really care about the future of our borough, it's not just District 11, the I am, it's the whole future of the borough, please, I'm urging you all, get on Team Vicky. If you need the number to her campaign office and you want to help it all this week, Maybe next week. Maybe until, I don't know, maybe you want to do it last minute on July 9th before the deadline's still on the 12th. Please PM me, and I will give you her campaign office number. Um, if you want to scroll through my tweets, you're more than welcome to do that. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, also, um, my boss at Nasdaq today was mentioning that it's the summer, and we need more volunteers. Um, we're getting short-staffed at Nasdaq lately. Um, if you want to help this summer, if you're a high school student going into college and you might be going into nursing, this might be a good experience for you to come out to Auburndale, volunteer as much as you can, and uh, yeah, what I'll do is, if, if you're a high school student and you're looking for any volunteer work this summer, please do not ask Long Island Jewish for any volunteer help this summer. I already know the situation there very well. We have a lot of volunteers. Osdom usually needs volunteers this time of the year. We're always short-staffed. So if you, if you, if you want to come to Osdom at all this summer, if you want to come to Osdom at all this summer to help me on Mondays, I'm there normally from 10.30 to about 3.30. If you want to help at all, please PM me here on Twitter, and I will give you uh, my uh, boss's number. And then uh, she'll organize an orientation, and hopefully you just tell her that, you know, you're a nursing student and you want to go in because obviously I have to transport residents, but CNAs, they do the same thing too. And lately my CNAs are just not doing the job they used to when I first started at Austin. I'm sorry for saying that, but I wanted to get that uh, memo out as well. So again, Vicky Palladino contact information, PM me, Osdom Hall contact information. You can PM me as well at Andy's Randomness. All right. So, uh, yeah, as again, tomorrow I'll be at Osdom. Not tomorrow I'll be at, well, I'm going to be in the area of Osdom. Yes, tomorrow I'm going to be in the area of Osdom, Murray Hill, getting signatures. We need Republican signatures. 
We're going to be in your area tomorrow. Vicky Palladino from about 1 o'clock to around 3.30. So if you're in Normandale, you're in Murray Hill, and you're a registered Republican, we'll be knocking on your door asking for your help to get Vicky Palladino on the ballot. Wednesday, if you're in Glen Oaks, if you're in Belrose Manor between 1 o'clock and actually 4 o'clock, if you are a registered Republican, we'll be coming around your area getting signatures. So um, please try to be home around those times because then maybe we can get your signature. Because again, uh, we need 2,500 signatures. We need 2,500 signatures for Mrs. Palladino to be on the ballot and potentially um, be in a primary. And if she wins that primary, she'll hopefully have a potential matchup against my current state senator, uh, Tony Avell. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. Uh, I'm wearing the Yankee hat, even though, again, we lost to the Mets yesterday. Two out of three isn't that bad, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up.